Good morning everybody. It is Monday, March 31st, 2020. Ignore my red nose. I've had a sneezing fit. My allergies are a mess this morning. But <clears throat> the cabinet guys will be here in about a half an hour to actually start building my cabinets for the kitchen. So I thought I would give you one last look at what it looks like before I actually have cabinets again. So here is one last look at my cabinetless kitchen. All this should be filled with beautiful cherry cabinets by the end of the day. Six hours later. Lee! What? We have cabinets! Well, Almost. we have half of our cabinets. I love the color! Oh, it's such a pretty color. Ah, oh, so nice. And look, we're fancy now. Ready? Okay. Ready? <gasps> It's soft clothes. I hate that there's no handles though. And there's also no way to grab it. No, there's a, just grab it. I'll find handles, I'll buy handles. I love this. He did a great job today. He did. It took him all day. Yeah, and he said he's gonna be finished tomorrow. Yes. So that means. So like these aren't mounted yet. This one, all what? these are done. So then he just has to actually mount these two do the cover for the, like the sidewall for the dishwasher, the island, and the hanging countertops. We should the next day. Lee! What? How does it feel to have it turned around on you? Yeah, fine, but look, kitty. We got a cat in a drawer. She's like, no, I want no more. <laughs> so she half of the kitchen, stuck in here last she got night. stuck in there last night. The cabinet, the lower cabinets on this side today. Yes. So this side's done. Completely. Well, not completely. Countertops. Yeah, no countertops. We, we found out today we might not be able to get our countertops. Which may be more drama. I'm waiting to hear from somebody we from the to kitchen wait place. An extra day for anything because we're going to get to something else that we got to wait longer for. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we do have something else we got to wait longer for. Yes. These cabinets. <laughs> the guy measured wrong, and the cabinets that were here were too big. He so ordered this length cab counter cabinet. Yeah, this big one. For here. For here. But that only gives that much clearance, it'd and like, you. It'd be like that episode of Seinfeld. Exactly. So it Who's can't lucky? be. <laughs> so we can't do 30 inch. We can't do more so than we're 24. So we actually gonna lose some storage space. Yeah, it's going from 24 to 18. But I think it's gonna be better because. Th but the coffee mugs aren't going back in there anyway. They're gonna be permanently over there. So I don't think. Yeah, but I don't think I'm actually losing any space. We thought that these were a little too low anyway. Yeah, I so hated how low they were. A little shorter. I think it's gonna work out better. It is because I'm gonna. I'm not gonna have to hunch Look, over we have as a much. Countertop on our island. Yeah, we rigged. We saved the countertop <laughs> from the old one just until we get our countertops. In. Yeah, we rigged it so we we so actually we it's not rigged at all. It's just sitting there. We can still make a sandwich. Yes. Now get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Yeah, how does it feel to have it turned so around on you? We just got into a huge argument. Well, that wasn't really an argument. I mean, it was our kind of an argument. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and I won, clearly. <laughs> yeah. As you see, nothing's changed, now, so you haven't won anything. The has these white, the white trim. But our walls are like a purplish white. They're yeah, not they're white, not white. So, so it doesn't match. I think, and I'm, I'm curious what you guys think. I want to do the trim to have the match the cherry on that. And this door, and we're going to have to replace this door, too. I don't know how much that's going to cost us. Oh, eventually. Well, that we can do ourselves. Yeah, that we can do ourselves. That's easy. I want to do that, too, and replace that old... And the nasty piece. trim. I don't yeah. even want to show the floor because it's all dirty from him working in here, and I yeah, haven't had a chance to clean it yet. The floor is very dirty. He just <laughs> left, so like, a little bit ago. But I think we should do cherry trim in the kitchen to match the cabinets. I think that would look the best. I think the white doesn't make sense. Because we had bright, like, this type color cabinets before that were bright and white kind of went with it. I think the cherry will look really good. But the door is still going to be white, so it's still not going to match. It doesn't have to be white. We can do whatever we want with this door. Don't tell me that. Within reason, <laughs> we can do whatever we want with this door. Uh -huh. but, so I can make a giant replica of the stained glass window from Beauty and the Beast? But listen, this is my <laughs> argument. How many times are we going to... We're already I know this is it. This is the only time we're going to refurb the kitchen. Relatively new. They're only a couple years old because yeah. we bought all new appliances and we bought a new fridge. Did we show the new fridge yet? I don't remember, but here's my new fridge. Here's my old fridge that's sitting just in the yeah, middle of my living room. That. We gotta put that on Facebook. <laughs> and my new fridge. All right. And I have found stainless steel that magnets stick to. And okay, so here was the other part of the argument is here. We've been. 
this this light situation. is going to be our the reason for our divorce yes. because we have very we differing quite, opinions. We did not like what was here before, so we took it out. It was just like that crappy plastic, and it just looked nasty. So like, you could tell it was plastic. I think I won Jen over today. We'll see. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put a piece of plywood in between them, uh, and make it two separate light fixtures that I'm gonna turn into tiles. <laughs> And Jen has some creativity ideas for what she wants to do with the tiles. But I think I won her over with that one. Can if we, you let me stained glass paint them whatever I want, you can have it. Okay. Because that's what I want to do. Because we already have it. And she's worried about it being a little dimmer in the kitchen. When we open the curtains in the kitchen, it's this, this house. Has this a cat is so happy to have the window back. <laughs> Wait till, she, wait till we have a counter and she's not allowed back up what there anymore. What would you guys do? Post, did you show the island? No. I don't, I'm trying not to show the floor because it's, it's gross. Great. The guy was here working all day. But uh, the island looks great. Yes, it's beautiful. Except for the ugly countertop we threw back on top. But yeah. we need that. Well, it's temporary because we now our countertops are kind of... We're not sure if we're getting them or oh, not. We never videoed us taking out all the old Ugh. cabinets. Yeah, no. Ugh. They were so gross. Oh, they're gone. Take yeah, they're like gone, gone. Today. today was bulk pickup. And the other thing is we're getting rid of this. Oh, yeah. We're going to do something really cool here. Because before we had and like... I'm not going to tell Jen what I'm doing here. Oh, God. This is going to be a surprise. Oh, uh, no, it won't be. Yeah. There, we had a piece of wood across here, like the crappy laminate. Oh, I got it. Oh. That was... You're not... No, we're not covering it up. No. No. This is dangerous. Me and him have very different design tastes. Recess lighting. Four lights. One, two, three, four. That would be perfect. You don't know how to put in recess lighting. Yeah, but I could pay somebody to do it. With what money? Who cares? <laughs> Get rid of this, just like we have over here. I don't think the electric. Uh, yeah, have you seen? There's like they have like cloth shoved in those. Those are old. That's from 1986. These are going to be new. I, I think that's the way to go. Uh, we need to go to Home Depot and look at lighting and I argue. I could probably do. I could probably do it. No. I'm feeling good about this. No. There's a lot of things I will say I go really ahead and do. Insurance. Electricity is not one of them. But I have really good life insurance. That's not helpful. No, recess lighting is the way to go here. Oh. Especially now that we don't have that. Yeah. Nope. D done. Decision made. Hey guys, it is another day. Um, I'm going to have to get better at these home vlogs not taking an entire week to film, but it is what it is right now. Now that I have my cabinets up, I can kind of actually start doing just a sit down full vlog instead of piecemealing them together. So today is going to be some arts and craftsy type stuff. I figured I started doing um, vinyl. I couldn't sleep last night, so I cut a whole bunch of vinyl for onesies because my sister-in-law is having a baby. So I started prepping all the onesies for her gift. And I'm also gonna list the bibs I will not, but the onesies will be listed on my Etsy shop. But I thought I'd give you a little idea of what it takes to make them. everything ready and prepped so it is 12 onesies and six bibs so now I have to actually iron on the iron-ons I don't have a heat press um, I will eventually get one to make my life simpler but I don't really have enough business for that yet <coughs> to justify spending no need to buy one I'm not sick it's allergies so I'm just using my iron Works totally fine with my iron, and we're gonna show you how it's done. So I start by protecting my table with just a towel. 
I have a cookie sheet because this helps heat it from both sides. I then take my onesie. Oh, I need to find one that's appropriate because some of them are not theme park on appropriate because that's the kind of family we are. You just lay it on there and now basically I just have to wait for the iron to heat up. Okay. So I can't get my head in to the screen because of just how I have to zoom in to show you. But I have my iron preheated. <clears throat> you do not want steam. So I have no water in it. So basically what I'm gonna do, oh, my plug for my iron's in the wrong spot, is press the design for three seconds, just a quick little, just to set it so it doesn't move at all. And then you're going to take the iron, let's see, how do I wanna do this? And set it on and press and hold with pressure for 15 seconds. 15, 14, 15. We're going to release pressure. And you kind of want to take a peek at it. It's starting to bubble. Oh, that was really hot. Should not have touched that. So it's probably ready. I just have to let it cool for a minute. And then you just start to peel it up a little bit. You want to peel it very slowly because if it sticks at all, you have to press it some more. But it looks like we're good. Oh, no, see the eye, the dot of the eye didn't stick. So we're going to do another 15 seconds. 15. 15. Now this part will peel right up because I'd already peeled it. Let's see. Oh, the eye is still not. So what we're gonna do is just the eye. That little eye just doesn't want to stick. Now here's where heat press would come in very handy um, because one, it gets hotter and it has heat on both sides. Just that's how it's made. So it um, tends to seal them better. And there we go, now we're good. And voila. This princess is ready for arrival. Now, one thing I do do before I ship them out is I do wash, oh, that's not sealed, is it? And see, when I check it closely, I notice this corner is not sealed. So, we open this back up. And just stick it on. And do it again. <clears throat> I do wash them first, just to make sure. Um, I have yet to have one that didn't survive a washing, but I always wash them first. Just for my own OCD-ness. And here it is. I have them all folded so that I don't give anything away to Jesse, but my which is the name of my sister-in-law. I have the 17 onesies done so far. I just ran out. So I have to wait for some more to come. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bibs. So I've been I've spent a lot of time pushing holding my uh iron. My iron got some work in these few days. Good morning everybody. That is so great. I look holy. Oh. Um today is actually Friday. It is Friday, April 3rd, so when you're watching this, I will have filmed this this morning. Got up super early just because I couldn't sleep. So I'm going to try to get some of these boxes empty and get my kitchen a little organized. Let's see how that goes. I have to say, one, I shop on Amazon a little bit too much. Now this is like a year's worth, but these Amazon Prime bags are perfect for plates and stuff. 
Um, if I was doing a big move, I would stick them inside, but because it was just a temporary box, I just stack them with these in between the plates and none of my dishes broke. Yay! This is the cabinet on top of my fridge. It is extremely inconvenient to get to. Like even, I can barely reach it with the step ladder. But I put all my kind of baking and cookie supplies up here because this does barely get used. Then we're gonna move over. I got all my dishes back in the plate cabinet. I actually moved my medicine cabinet. It is now over here in this skinny one. This is where I had crammed all of my spices before, but it was such a nightmare to use that now I have it all in all my, my uh, medicines in here. And this used to be where I kept all my canned goods and like my sides and all, but now that I have my two pantries that they're in, this is now my much nicer, better organized spice rack. And I'm so happy that I can actually get to everything. And all of that up there was in my old one that was above the freezer that was a pain in the butt to get to. But now I can get to all my stuff so easy. So that's going to do it for this week's home vlog. Kind of all over the place, but that's how my life is right now. Um, not a lot of content either. I did a lot of sitting around on the couch and fighting migraines this week. Didn't have a great week. But, um... We'll be starting to get more organized come next week so I can start doing like a DIY epi a vlog and things like that. Vlogs that have like some meaning behind them instead of just chaos. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys!